Shepard! Welcome back to the ranks of the living. I wasn't sure you got my message. What did you want to see me about? I'll be honest. I was hoping the Council would be here for this meeting. I spoke to Udina. He never listens to me. Ever since he got the seat on the Council, he thinks the star shine out of his ass. They need someone like you on the Council to get things done. I'm not sure I have the stomach to wade through all the political bullshit around here, Shepard. Couldn't do much worse than Udina, though. All he seems to care about is public relations with the rest of the Council. He doesn't want to deal with the real issues. <laughs> what did you expect? I don't know. But he should listen to me once in a while. An advisor isn't much use if you ignore everything he says. I'm still not clear on why you wanted me to come. There's been a lot of talk since you came back. Some of what I hear has been, frankly, a little disturbing. I wanted to give you a chance to explain your actions. Maybe get the Council to see things from your point of view. But they refuse to see you. You let the previous Council die during Sovereign's attack on the Citadel. They feel you'll always put human interests before galactic concerns. Rumors that you're working with Cerberus haven't helped. What are you doing out there? What did you expect? You left me for dead. Turned your back on me, just like you've done to our missing colonists. We thought you were dead. As soon as I heard different, I sent you that message. I know you, Shepard. I know you wouldn't work for Cerberus without a good reason. Something more is going on here. The Reapers are moving again, but not through the Geth. It's the Collectors. They're behind the colony abductions. The Collectors? We hadn't considered that. There's so little data. They've always seemed like a fringe threat. If they're a front for the Reapers, this is big. But even that may not be enough to get the Council off its tail. Udina and the others have spent the past two years convincing themselves the Reapers don't exist. I tried to get the truth out, but they don't want to see it. It's just easier for them to accept Sovereign as a Geth warship. Are they blind? What about Vigil, the Prothean VI on Ilos? The VI in Ilos shut itself down. You're the only one who spoke to it, just like you and your crew are the only ones who spoke directly to Sovereign. Officially, the existence of the Reapers has been dismissed as a myth spread by Saren to convince the Geth to follow him. We both know the truth. But I've spent two years fighting that line, and I don't have much to show for it. You know the threat the Reapers represent. There must be something you can do. It's up to you to stop the Reapers, Shepard. I can't even toss you a symbolic title like Spectre. Udina keeps close tabs on that designation. He's decided it's just an invitation to go rogue. Fine way to show gratitude for putting him in the big seat. I think I made my opinion of the Council's blessing pretty clear last time around. Keep it. Figured as much. But it should be yours to refuse. Doesn't feel like I'm able to give you the help you deserve. It's all up to you. I'll keep the Council and the Alliance off your back. Shouldn't be too hard if you're operating out in the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard, what are you doing here? I got a long list of people I didn't want to see, and your name is right at the top. The feeling is mutual, believe me. Your return is a bureaucratic nightmare for us. I'll have to make sure to speak with the rest of the Council and let them know I had nothing to do with you coming here. You know they refused to meet with the Commander? And you know they have good reason. There could be serious political ramifications. Anderson, I expect to see you in my office when you're done here. What an ass. Will Udina find a way to get rid of you over this? I should be so lucky. But once he cools off, he'll probably decide to keep me around. Besides, there aren't any official records that you and I spoke. And Udina will want to make sure it stays that way. If I get fired, people will ask questions. So he'll keep me on and just sweep this whole mess under the rug. What happened to Gunnery Chief Williams after the Normandy was destroyed? Operations Chief Williams is still with the Alliance, but she's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say anymore. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. 
Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. Well, here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces of it rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could. But between the Keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The Keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. How have the last couple years treated you? Working for Udina isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it. But I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line. That's got to be yours. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand.